up fairies welcome back to my channel it is Shannon I am excited because today we are doing another get ready with me chat makeup video I went to Ulta again and I'm so excited because I have the new Too Faced palette with the butterflies it literally just came out I went to Ulta and the girl went in the back and found this for me it was the only one in the store that was so kind of her it is the Too Faced Too Femme. I also got the blush that goes with it. I can't wait to try this. It looks like such a cute, fun collection. I love butterflies. I also got some other stuff. I got some of their Lady Bold lipstick and liner to try. And I also got a new primer from Tarte to try. So we're gonna do makeup and I have something really exciting to tell you. I can't wait to tell you this amazing news. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you've not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I really appreciate it. And let's get into the makeup. Very first thing I'm going to do is put some lip balm on. I'm going to use this Aquaphor. I've been trying to hydrate my lips all day because they've been so dry. This winter has been really hard on my lips. Put back our hair. Thought I would whip out the pink flowers to go with the cute butterfly stuff. I guess they're getting an early jump on spring. I bought this primer from Tarte, the Shape Tape Pour and Prime Balm. I saw Kelly Strack recommend this. She said she really liked it, so I thought I would give it a try. It was $25. This is what it looks like, and then it opens up and there's a little puff thing. I don't know if I'll want to use that or not. I think I'm just gonna use my fingers and try to rub it on. It feels very soft and silky. It definitely has a balmy consistency. It's very soft. I like how it feels on my skin so far. I tend to really enjoy Tarte's products though, so I'm interested to keep trying that out. My skin does feel really soft. I definitely have like a filling and blurring effect on my skin. So far I do really like that. Okay, let's get started on our complexion. So how's everybody's 2022 going so far? I have to say it feels good for me to start a new year. I've been feeling kind of like a new zest for life and vigor that I feel like I've been missing. I also just got a new phone, which was really exciting. It was definitely time for an upgrade. I was still rocking the iPhone 10, and now I have upgraded to the 13 Pro. I gotta get used to like the three cameras on their thing. That's kind of weird. So I'm gonna use my foundation brush that I cleaned with my new brush cleaner. You may have seen that in my Christmas haul. It got it really clean, so let's make it dirty again. everybody's having a good start to the year. I think it feels good to have a fresh start. I feel like the last couple years have been really traumatic and like I want to try to just stop talking about it and move on. I think that's one of my goals for this year is to just leave some of that behind and move on. How to just keep living life. I feel like I've had a really hard time with everything going on in this past couple months. I've finally been able to acknowledge that yes I have been struggling and it's been a lot. I did my same complexion products I always use and I do feel like my skin looks really good with that priming balm underneath. I mean so far so good on that. It feels really soft, smooth, and even. My skin looks definitely more poreless than usual I'd have to say. I don't usually make resolutions for New Year's but there is like one thing that I feel I want to work on this year and that that is to worry less and stress less and just kind of let things go a little more and let things kind of work themselves out. I was at the eye doctor the other day and when I was checking out I saw a little sign on their wall and it said 
What did it say? I don't know if this is exactly what it said, but it, it was something like, don't spend your life worrying about things that don't really matter. For some reason, when I was just standing in line and read that, I started to just like get emotional and almost like tear up. Cause it just like hit me so hard that I've really fallen into this cycle of like worrying about things that haven't happened yet, stressing out about things I can't control and just really want to work on not doing that anymore. I mean, easier said than done. But for some reason, that sign at the Lens Crafters just really like, it felt like a sign. <laughs> When I saw that, it felt like, wow, I really needed to see that right then. That's one thing that I am working on this year. I would be interested to know if you have any goals that you're working on or things that you're thinking about this new year. I would love to hear skin looks good. Okay, let's talk about my big announcement. Perfect timing because I got out the Hula bronzer from Benefit. Oldie but a goodie. So I've been hinting that I'm going to be traveling somewhere soon in some of my thrift hauls when I've been buying some summer clothes. And I am so excited to tell you guys that me and James are going to Hawaii. We are leaving at the end of January. We will be there for two weeks in Maui. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I've known about this trip for almost a year and I haven't said anything. And actually the reason we're going is because some of our really dear friends are getting married. James is going to be a part of the wedding and I get to come along and I'm so excited. I've never been there before. I'm hoping that I'll be able to film some cool stuff there and show you some of the stuff we do. Planning to try to bring my camera along. I just feel so lucky that I get to go on this trip. It's been so long since I've traveled and Hawaii just looks so nice. James actually lived there for almost a year in the past and he talks about it all the time. I just know I'm gonna love it so much. It seems like such a magical place. Hopefully I'll get a tan. I think I'm gonna try to go tanning a little bit. I don't usually tan but I don't want to just like burn to a crisp when I get there because right now I'm pretty pale from the winter. I feel like this bronzer like still is kind of the shit. Like I see why it was so popular. This was like one of the first bronzers I ever got. I'll definitely take this on the trip. The hula makes sense for Hawaii, right? But I'm just so excited and I will definitely be posting like pictures and stuff. Follow me on my Instagram if you want to see more stuff. I'll try to put like things on my stories when we're there. And yeah, it's just gonna be so much fun. We're going! I can't wait! Okay, I'm so excited. Let's do the blush. It is the Too Femme blush. I haven't even opened this yet. This was kind of pricey. This was $30. Okay, Too Faced. This better be a really good blush. Packaging is adorable. Very cute. Very spring. Oh, wow. Butterflies are like glittery gold. Old. That's so pretty. I almost said, like don't want to use it because it's so pretty. This is what the mirror looks like. It's got butterflies around it, cute pink packaging. I saw the swatch of this on Trend Mood and it looked really pretty. All right, we gotta do it. We spent 30 bucks on this. We gotta do it. I'm gonna try to... Oh. Well, are you freaking kidding me? So the gold glitter was literally just like a layer on the top. Doesn't go all the way through the blush. So enjoy that right away. Now I feel like it's gonna put like a huge patch of glitter on my cheek. Oh, it did. Oh my God. So I guess the first couple times you use it, you'll get glitter, but then it'll be gone. I'm gonna try to just go more in the middle and not get the glitter. Oh my God, there's like a huge Leave it to Too Faced, I swear to God. It's pretty. The pink color though is gorgeous. I think once you get past that glitter, like it wouldn't always be there. Okay, that is really pretty. I like that a lot. A little on the tip of the nose. It almost has like an iridescent kind of like highlighter quality to it though. I actually really like that a lot. I think I will definitely use this blush a lot. I think it's very pretty. I just realized I never put powder on. I was just getting so excited talking about Hawaii. I never set my face with powder. Well, I'll put a little bit on my forehead, I guess. 
And I never did my eyebrows. What am I doing? Sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place scatterbrain today. Let's just fill in the brows a little before we move on. That's better. I have been doing a lot of shopping for the trip. I feel like I've just been buying things here and there kind of all year, thinking ahead so that I can have some cute outfits. I have my dress for the wedding. I found it from this store called Lulu's. I wanted to tell you about if you need any like formal wear or anything like that, I discovered this and they have really good prices on dresses. I'll put a pic of the dress I bought for the wedding. It's so pretty. Yeah, if you need any formal wear, definitely check out Lulu's. I was looking and looking and I didn't realize how hard it was to find like, wedding guest attire. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids so that can set. I just ordered also a ton of bathing suits. Went a little crazy and just ordered some like cheaper bathing suits off Amazon because I couldn't find any like expensive ones I really liked enough to spend the money on so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna gonna buy a few like cheaper ones that way if they get ruined it doesn't matter. I was thinking about maybe doing a video like packing my outfits kind of like planning outfits what I was gonna wear on the trip. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. There's like weird stuff on my lips. I'm sorry you guys my lips just don't look that great today. They're just so dry and I actually posted on Instagram today that I want to try to be like a little more real online and not always like try to make everything look perfect. <laughs> so here here we are. I just feel like it's come like really negative how everyone just posts like only the best stuff online and makes us feel like we're not good enough or our lives aren't perfect. I do appreciate when I see people post like more real stuff. This is some real life for you. I also forgot to put concealer on. Oh my gosh you guys. I don't know if I can save this makeup look. You know what? It's okay. <laughs> I'm just saying how I, I want to seem not as perfect. Well, here you go. I think that looks fine. Let's put a little powder over that. My goodness gracious. Mind is just on the island. It's not here right now. I think we're okay. I think I fixed it. I got this highlighter palette at Marshall's yesterday. It's called Apres... Apres... I'm saying that wrong. In Aspen by BH Cosmetics. I've never tried anything from BH really, and I thought this was really interesting. I've heard really good things about the brand. I like all the different colors in here. I just really wanted to use this hot pink highlighter on my face today. Kind of like named after like things about skiing, like some little skis up there. Like the complete opposite of what I was just talking about, going to like an island and butterflies. I'm gonna go into this one chill zone and see how that works. Really pink. Oh. Whoa. What? I like it. Do you see that? That is really pretty. $7? I really like that a lot. I'm excited to try some of the other ones too. Although the pink is what really stood out to me why I wanted to buy the palette. That was really nice. It looks really pretty with the blush too. Okay, let's keep moving along. Let's open up the eyeshadow palette. I can't believe I got the only one in the store today. So it is like a smaller size, which I do like. Kinda reminds me of the size of the teddy bear palette. I have a video on that one. Here are the shades. I like that it has like a light setting shade. Looks like a nice mix of mattes and shimmers. The front is like the same butterfly design. Start with a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to go in with this kind of peach shade right here. The names are on the back. Oh my god, I always get so confused by that. It's called Pretty Powerful. It's just a really nice kind of neutral peachy shade. It's definitely showing up really nice. Going on really smooth, very nice and buildable. And I forgot to tell you the price. This palette was $39, which I feel like is pretty standard for a Too Faced palette. Oh, 
that went well. That looks really pretty. I'm going to now get a clean brush and I'm going to dip into this kind of mint blue shade right here, which is called Limp to Be. I think I've heard that name before for a mint color. I don't know how original that is. Initially, this one is not going on as smooth. It got like a little patchy, but I'm able to blend it out. I was thinking when I bought this, this might be a nice palette for me to take on the trip for some more like brighter, like spring summer tones. Definitely reads as a pretty like springtime palette to me. Not sure if they released it for that reason. I mean, I guess Valentine's stuff is already coming out, so maybe it's their Valentine's release. Okay, it's not showing up the most amazing ever. It definitely does have a nice minty blue color. I just keep putting more on. Definitely giving me 90s. You guys remember the sparkly blue eyeshadow? I don't know if I ever wore it. I might have been a little young when that was going on, but I remember the sparkly blue eyeshadow. I feel like that was more of like almost like a periwinkle. I feel like Britney Spears had that on and like so I did it again. It was like a like a baby blue sparkly like liquid shadow that was so popular back then hey okay, i like that but like where do i go from here maybe i'll try some of this kind of like magenta right here that one called one two three five from the right that one is called two femme so i guess that's what the palette's named after i don't know it's kind of giving me black and blue eye right now Not super pigmented, to be honest. Um, I'm going to get another brush and I'm going to do something on my lower lash line. Let's try another shade. Let's try this one right here. Give me butterflies. Buff that on my lower lash line. It's kind of like a mauve neutral. All right, I feel like that's bringing the look together a little. It's pretty. I want to put some shimmer on the lid. A lot of good shimmers in here. I think I'm going to do this pink one on the outer, and then I want to do this blue one. Pink is called Hear Me Roar. That on the outer part where I had the pink underneath. That's pretty. It's a nice just kind of like topper shade. All right, and then this blue iridescent, wait, maybe that one's called meant to be. The blue earlier was make it rain. I'm sorry, I'm messing this all up. I like that they put it on the back so it's like simpler inside, but at that point it's like, do we really need to name them? Because I just get confused. Ooh, that's pretty, I like that one. Very nice. Okay, that turned out cute. Blend a little more of that first peachy shade back into the crease to blend everything together. Like there's no inner corner highlight in this palette. You just pop in some of that sparkly mint color. Maybe that'll tie it together. Not working very well. Did not work. Don't use that as an inner corner highlight. It's too glittery. But let's go back to Aspen. Are there butterflies in Aspen? I'm not sure. I'm gonna try this blue snow angel. That works better. Ooh. Wow. That's pretty. I like that. You know what? It's a pretty palette. I'm excited to try it more. It's cute. I like how it's compact. The colors are pretty. I think this will be really nice going into the spring months and for me to take on my trip. Not mad that I bought it as of right now. I think it's cute. I'm gonna have this as a part of my collection. Okay, let's try out the new lippy stuff. This was also expensive. <laughs> really enough, I don't remember there was like a controversy over these lipsticks because originally they were going to be called Lady Balls and <laughs> everybody got mad about it. I guess they decided to change it to Lady Bowl. I've heard good things about this lipstick and the liner, so we're going to try it out. I got the shade Adass in the liner. That's what it looks Looks like a little heart on the end. That's kind of cute. This is tight. Oh, okay. So you click the heart to make it come out. Okay, I guess that's fine. This was 
$20. So this better be a great lip liner. Seems to be just kind of like a nice nude shade. Okay, that's really pretty. It's not that far off from my natural lip color, but I do like the way it went on. It feels really creamy. It went on really nice and easy. Like first impression, it feels like it has staying power. But just be really careful that you don't click it out too far because as far as I can tell, you can't it back down in. Like it doesn't twist or anything. So once it's out, it's out. I don't know if that's a great innovation or not. Okay, this is the lipstick I got. This is in the shade Brave heart. Let your lips do the talking without ever saying a word. Ooh, that feels fancy. I like the component. It feels really heavy and nice. Oh, that is also in the shape of a heart and it has a TF on it for Too Faced. This looks like a really pretty color. It's like a very simple nude. So let's try her out. Oh, it's very creamy. It's a little like pointy. That was a lot lighter than what I was expecting it to look like. Oh, so it's magnetic. So it's definitely a lighter nude. I'm not mad about it. I think it's pretty. I almost wish I would have got the other shade I was looking at, the more pinkier one, but I was like, I have a lot of lipsticks in that like same tone, so maybe I should try something different. It feels really creamy on my lips. It's like a little tacky feeling. Looking in the mirror right now, I feel like my makeup looks very pretty. I'm happy with how everything came out. Let's give it a test on the coffee cup. It definitely went on the cock. Although like it's still on my lips, like it didn't completely come off my lips or anything like that. I'm gonna do just a little glitter. This is a heavy metal glitter by Urban Decay. I'm not sure if this is still available, but I'll try to find something similar. I wanna do just like a little thing over here with that. That's what I've been kind of enjoying doing lately, just kind of like an iridescent wing coming off instead of a harsh liner. You can see that. I just, I love that. It's like you don't really see it till you turn this side and it's like bam, glitter. I'm going to take my hair down and I'll give you some final thoughts. Alright, final thoughts. I thought the palette was really cute. I'm excited to use it more, try more of the shades. I feel like it's probably worth the money. I think I'll keep using it. Will it be like an everyday? I don't know. It definitely does have some nice neutral shades though that I think you could do a more everyday look or you could add in those pops of color if you want to do something a little more festive. I like the size of it too and the packaging is super cute. This highlighter palette was was good. I was really impressed. I feel like it performed just as good or better than a lot of high-end highlighters I have. Primer, I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to keep using this. I feel like I'm going to keep using this and enjoy it a lot. I really like the way it made my skin look and I love the way that my makeup layered on top of it. Lip liner was really nice. It was expensive but it was nice and I do really like the way my lips look right now. I thought it was a good combo. The Brave heart shade. Packaging looks really luxe and feels very high end and nice to me. I really like the lipstick. I like the color. I like the packaging. I think it's gonna work out really well. It wasn't cheap so it really should. I forgot the blush. Blush. I loved it. I really do. I love the color of my cheeks right now. It just gives a really nice blushed kind of natural glow and I really enjoy it. I'm a little disappointed that the glitter just like came off so easy and just like piled on my cheek. I mean, eventually that glitter will be gone, but it almost looks like the whole thing has like an iridescent quality throughout. Very nice. I think it was worth it. I think <laughs> this is super cute. All right, fairies, that is gonna do it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun trying out the new makeup and talking with you as always. I just really appreciate you being here and all of your support. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I upload a new video every Sunday. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. I know it was like kind of haphazard at times, so if you're still here, thank you. I've 
appreciate you so much. As always, just remember that you are special, beautiful, and magical, and I love you so much. Bye.